דוי ויד דוי ודוי רמו נעשוי אלה זו צדקה תפילה צדקה for the well-being of all of כלל ישראל especially today ערב סוכויס the day before סוכויס so busy we're busy with getting ready for יום תף so today I'd like to be a little bit practical tonight as of tonight I should say one should be eating in the sukkah. You can do it your own sukkah. You can do it in a friend's sukkah. But make sure you go to a sukkah at least the minimum. I'm talking about the bare, bare, mini, 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 minimum. Make kiddush and eat a piece of challah. Ideal is obviously to have the entire meal. And the first night of sukkahs, women too go to the sukkah. Although throughout the Yom Tov they're not obligated because these are part of the mitzvahs which are time dependent. Nevertheless, The first night of Sukkot, everybody joins in the Sukkot. And for that matter, even if it is raining, according to Shulchan Aruch, we're supposed to wait till midnight to uh, do the Kiddush. Chassidim go in the Sukkot even when it's raining. We eat in the Sukkot throughout the whole Yom Tev. Might be difficult to finish the soup if it's raining. It keeps on refilling, joke aside. But the importance of eating in a Sukkot tonight. As I said, you can join somebody else's sukkah. That's perfectly right. And then we have, as of tomorrow, the mitzvah of the lulav and the etrog. Right? Just you know what the etrog is. You all know the etrog, that lemon look, lemon look alike. And we have the the lulav, a little long, the which is called the palm tree. We have the hadassim, the myrtle, and the arava is the willow. What do we do? So we will be doing it as of tomorrow morning, or tomorrow during the day. We're going to take the lulav in the right hand. We'll do the first blessing. Please look in your marzal, in your siddur, or in the little card that you have received about, if not, go on Chabad.org, download it, print it out, so you should have it for tomorrow. We do the blessing on the Lulav Asher Kiddushonu B'Mitzvay Savit Tzavonu Al Nitilas Lulav. Then we take the Esrik in the other hand, we put it together, and then first time we do it, we, do, we make the bracha, the, the second bracha, which is when every time we do a new mitzvah, something novel, we make that special blessing. Now, this is to be done every day until, except for Shabbat, until next week, including Oshana Rabbah, until next week, Wednesday. Now, both of them, sukkah and those four kinds, represent one concept, the concept of unity. As we spoke two days ago, the sukkah is a unifying factor. We're all entering in the sukkah equal, together. With no difference from one to the other. The focus put on that simplicity. The lulav and the esrik represent each a different type of a person. As I said, the esrik has good taste and good smell, which represents a person with knowledge and with good deeds. The palm tree, the branch of the palm tree, the lulav, coming from palm tree, a fruit of dates, has good taste, no smell. The myrtle has beautiful smell, no taste. The willow, called the arava, no taste, no smell. These represent, as the Medrash says, the four types of Jews. The one that has knowledge and has good deeds. Then you have the ones who are more involved in deeds, but knowledge is a little lacking. That's the willow. Um, so that's the, the myrtle. Then you have those who have knowledge. I'm sorry, I just said it. Those that have knowledge, lacking in deeds. And then you have those who have deeds, good smell. The 
willow, but lacking in knowledge. And then you have those that are uh, nishka, knowledge, nishka, no smell, no taste, gunisht. Yet is the mitzvah is that we have to find them. So the togetherness, the unity of those four kinds is by emphasizing, by showing there are differences, yet we're one. And that's the beauty of the hunter of Sukkot. And the way to do it is we shake it. We shake it in all six directions. The whole universe. The whole universe is shaking up. How? Because we are united. And we see this today. How the whole world is shaking, but the Jewish people are united. And it's this unity that will bring us into the Beis Amidish and celebrate over there.